Well, everybody, we are back with another episode. Let's just hop right into this and try not to die. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So... Dork. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zing. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. <laughs> what incredible eyesight you have, Mr. Wake. <laughs> Can you walk any slower? There's nothing anybody hates in a video game than walking faster than this dude. Or not walking faster than this dude. Having a character you walk faster than. That's better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Was that really necessary to go to the trash? Randolph! Walk faster, my man! <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you dead. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. <laughs> that doesn't sound suspicious at all. <laughs> it would have been amazing if I found a manuscript page over there. Hey, knock. Welcome to... To... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! 
What? What? skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. You bet to yourself, man. Um. Ah, oh, lovely. She's got... Pictures of a lot better. Is that a real person? Are those real people? Who those are real people? Things who this guy's character modeled after, possibly. Took a day for me. I had less than twelve hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me, and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. Have a nice day. Come back soon. Can you, uh, those lights? Harry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> okay. All right. I deserve more. So handsome. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. So you're not going to turn on the lights for the dude's daughter, I'm guessing? Randolph calls the police. Dr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick looked like trouble and they'd been in there for hours way past her normal bedtime he reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station yep uh get to the car we're gonna tow him i don't, I don't know what car we drove in we're gonna tow him anyways i just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air let me tell you the weather's getting heavy no There's a thermos over there. I don't see anything over here. So, oh, maybe because this isn't where I'm supposed to be. Thank you. But maybe there's something back here. I don't think I can enter any of these doors. Well, on the off chance that I can. Uh, nope. Run body first into it. <laughs> or face first like that Markiplier video. <laughs> Break your glasses. Slamming into it so many times. Hey. It's not safe out here, you know. Just don't mind me. I'm looking for the goods. I know you have some around here somewhere. 
I can smell it. Okay, maybe I was lied to. I can't smell it. My nose is a big fat <laughs> so tired. Nose is a big fat liar. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Triple A. Manuscript pages. Why, you out of breath, my dude? Take more cardio. You're a. I was gonna say freelancer, but I don't think that's the correct term. I'm just gonna jog. You guys okay with that? You're gonna see me at the bridge. And I don't have a gun or a flashlight. Goodbye. Oh, damn. Great. There's like. Oh, okay. I was gonna say there wasn't much like chaos or anything going on. Get shot immediately. Sorry. What kind of police are these? They're the shoot first, ask question later kind, I guess. I'm unarmed, you cowards. Maybe. <gasps> but there's a manuscript. Just let me read it real fast. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Hmm. Oh, right. Oh, you're too slow. Okay, we're going to be fighting things to death and despair. I can run. Please don't kill me. It's empty. How is that radio still working? I like how I have the casual time to just stop. I'm not getting chased or anything. Checkpoint. And so slow. It was so very slow. Cowards. They're trying to capture me. I'm no longer down there. Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna die. <gasps> you can see me? Yep, they got guns. Run. <laughs> ah, they're dying. Wonderful. Cowards. Oh, 
I have a feeling I'm gonna have to fight that. Oh, great. There goes the checkpoint. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. What's wrong with my jacket? <laughs> I mean, aside from the elbow patches, it's a pretty nice jacket. Hmm. Another checkpoint. That means we're gonna die here. Weirdly mighted things. You're so slow. Why are you so slow, buddy? I see. It's one of these missions. You on the ground. Hold it right there. There's nowhere to run. Freeze! Have fun with that! Why are all the police trying to shoot me? It. That's a shame. I got the explosion though. There's gotta be something of use up there, I'm guessing. Just be like a random rifle hanging out. Ooh! Right stick. A to toggle. Ah, that's it? I wanna see the corpses. Okay. There must. Uh, this is Jane Mulligan Thornton. Come in, over. <laughs> uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Come on. Sorry about that weird cut. Give me that. Jane Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler dropped or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of load of scotch about it, you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh... Fed's gonna want to interview the wheeler over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All we get out. I hope that wasn't just a. Oh, well, great, look what's over this way. It's right stick. Why right stick? I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Ah. That sensitivity, man. Killer. No, don't use it again, you fool! Ah, so jarring. Just jump over the fence and invisible wall yourself to death. Which way am I going? <laughs> Never a good question to ask. I'm going the wrong way. I most definitely am. Uh, there's the door. Stark, okay. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Was I actually walking there? I think I was. Natural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I was <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
never wanted to know. <laughs> okay, there's gotta be a gun or a flashlight somewhere. There's a thermos. Jump like a little girl. Let's pick it up. Uh, doesn't seem to be any manuscript pages. There was but... no power to the searchlight. But it's obviously blinking. So I don't know what you're talking about. Um, no power to the searchlight. That means well, there's nothing around me, so there's got to be some up there, I'm guessing. Let's find a giant AAA battery pack. Can I push it? Can I do anything with it? Nope. Destroy the gates. Ah, here we go. It's so dark. Take me around, brother. The controls in this game are so weird. If my generator shook like that, I would be very afraid of my life. I thought I saw a manuscript page. It was just a reflection off the ground. <sighs> Shows a shit. <laughs> the old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Is that because I waited too long? No, I think it's just supposed to happen. Like I said, I would not trust this thing for the life of me. So I think I gotta sprint and not pay attention to the flashing on the ground. LT, LT. Timed. Never use a generator when it looks like that. Never use a cable, especially when the sparks are coming from the ground. That's never a good sign. <laughs> Alright, buddy. So no manuscript pages. Hopefully I didn't miss any. You're so slow. Oh, so very slow. For always free, you can switch shoulders. Ooh. Friendly. Oh, hey, look, a flashlight. Is there a gun nearby, too? Or a manuscript page? Oh, the voice is dying. Need some chili after this. Mmm, good old chili. No, I don't see anything. Flash that light. Where'd the batteries come from? Sure. It took me a moment to recognize the flash. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Sorry, ma'am, they're all dead. All the sheriffs in a small town. <laughs> Almost every single one of them. Okay, try to group them up if possible, and then just shock it! Shock it? Noise. Like the hood of the truck, car, whatever it was. Just sitting there. My dude. Stamina. Do a quick spin around. Ow! I should have dodged. Ow! I should have dodged. They don't do much damage, do they? The axes, I mean. Not the flashbangs. Imagine what would happen if I ran out of flashbangs. <laughs> Wonderful. More flashbangs. I guess that's what would happen. What's on your mind, Mill? 
Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door, and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Who talks yeah, like this? I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so where is Radio Live? Is it going to do anything? What happens if I shh? I don't have a gun. I guess nothing's gonna happen. So I'm gonna call this episode here. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. Until then, stay awesome everybody. Goodbye!